Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on my channel Dine with Jane. Hope you're all doing well and welcome. Uh, so today I have a different video that I'll be doing. I'm going to be doing uh, essential kitchen tools that I must have uh, that I find they make my work way easier to walk around the kitchen. So come with me as I show you around and the things that I must have. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the most important uh, as you all know for kitchen to function you need pots knives and all those things and sometimes we kind of go a little bit overboard with these things so yeah i'm gonna just take you through very few things if you guys like to see more i will i can do a, another video to show you all those in uh, all those essential tools so i have my knives <clears throat> i have this set of knives there are three they came three pairs so this one is the chef's knife that's the brand that i have uh they're very very good i got them in tk max i think they're like 40 to 30 euros there's three set of them they're very very good they're mostly used by chefs so this is the sharpest of them all very good for cutting onions tomatoes anything it's just like glides on very very easily and my next one is the bread knife, as you can see, serrated, easy to cut a, a loaf of, of bread that is not yet cut and just makes the work super easy. I like it as well uh, for cutting pineapple to peel the pineapple because uh, I think it just goes in very easily. And that's the small knife. Uh, I use that for peeling potatoes or onions, anything little that I I can find myself to use I try to use that very very good um, <clears throat> another one is this tomato knife uh, this is this brand I don't know whether you can focus my camera okay it's not focusing so anyway this is the one that I'm using it's a serrated small knife I use it for tomatoes I find it's very very good for especially baby tomatoes if I'm having a salad in the morning or something like that so yeah pretty good uh, my next kit that I must have is my thermometer meat thermometer um, so, um, so this is handy if you're cooking a full chicken a big piece of meat that you want to know the the temperature of it whether it's cooked or not as you can see it has beef ham uh, poultry lamb it has all the different types of meats that you can check with and then it tells you uh, proper temperatures that it should be so you know that you're not gonna be eating raw meat <laughs> and the next one is this small grater that I have here I love this for garlic or uh, lemon uh, lime orange oranges if I want to zest to zest them uh, it leaves everything on that side all the pits and then you just get all the good stuff from that side it's handy um, my other tool is this one a whisk just a little hand whisk easy when you're making some omelet you can just whisk things around or if you're making you have some flour that you want to mix in with other ingredient it works perfectly so yes and my little uh, spatula thing so I use that to scrape around the bowl to bring everything together so here and my i don't know what this is called a uh, big spoon whatever it's called uh if i'm cooking mandazis or uh, taking something out of a fry or something like that i use that it's handy it's a big one uh no burning at all and some tongs as well very handy if you're frying something and you want to pick it up quickly uh, it works handy and it has this little thing here that helps it open you can see it opens and then I just press there and it closes and that's it and my next thing is my wooden spoon everybody has one I suppose in their kitchen handy for cooking easy to clean and why not Next have uh, is a food processor I find food processors very handy to use like I have this one I can use for bread crumbs or biscuit crumbs work way easier or if I want to mix ingredients together I can use and I have a blender as well that it came together 
so if i want to make a tomato based dinner and i want to use fresh tomatoes and i want to chop them i use that or if i want to make a smoothie i have a smoothie maker as well but i find that handy if i'm cook, um, using it for tomatoes and all tomato based dinner so i'm using kenwood i've had this for for a while for a long while now it's doing good i love it it's easy to clean just open and close clicks and that's it and it's ready to go my next one is a colander so it's very simple the one that i have uh, it can stand on its own which is handy if you have pasta or yeah noodles that you're cooking and you want to drain them and maybe have them on the running water running through them it's easy for that my next one is a sieve we all especially we Kenyans we have to have a kichungi but this one is a bigger one I have a smaller one a sieve is called kichungi in Kenya just for sieving if I'm doing some baking flour uh, sugar whatever salt and I don't want big uh, lamps to go in it I just use that and it's way handy so yeah super handy to have in your kitchen mixing bowl or yeah just a simple uh, pyrex uh, bowl for mixing anything if you want to do a salad uh, flour anything it will go and yeah I believe it can go in the microwave I'm not sure it can go in the oven these are the ones that I believe they can go in the oven so yeah pretty good pyrex bowl and yes my chopping board we all need a chopping board i know not many people in africa use it but a chopping board is handy if you're cutting want to chop the onion really thinly or any ingredients that you want to chop it's handy for that this one is good because i can disinfect it on to the next thing that i i believe is important to me is a is a perex jug measuring jug uh if you're measuring milk or anything that you want to cook and you want to be precise with size uh, it has liters it has pints and I have an, a bigger one that has mls and all that so yeah makes my work easier and I know what I'm doing uh, kitchen skill so this is very I love this actually I, I tend to use it quite a lot um, grams and it has a little button at the bottom here that I'll be pressing so it tells you grams and there is fluid ounces there is uh, pounds as well and it, it has ml so it's very good if you want to know if you're doing something and you want, you want to be really precise with the size and the measurements that works really good and they're very very cheap to find they're not expensive so get yourself a kitchen scale and it will work for you is a frying pan i have a tiny one here i have few of big ones as well but i just thought i'll show you a small one if i want to do an omelette sorry an omelette uh, so something non-stick non uh, so this does for me and I have few ones as I said easy to use easy to clean uh, you can just rinse off from on the on the top and it cleans off easily uh, my next one is a pot as we all know no kitchen will function without one so yeah just handy one that I have I have few this is a very good quality heavy uh, bottom like it won't burn anything uh well unless i use a a low heat it's handy for cooking boiling milk cooking anything uh so yeah and i have here um pestle and mortar that i really really love this it's a uh, very heavy super heavy Ugh, can't even lift it uh so i use that for grinding uh ingredients if i'm uh, if i'm cooking maybe uh, like my previous video that I did mackerel so I use that for grinding the garlic ginger cilantro chilies and it just forms into a nice nice paste so and it's easy easy to clean just finish off and rinse it off or if you want to do some uh, spices like pilau spices like cumin corianders and all that it works as well or if you have a, an electric one you can use the electric one it will still do so yeah those are all my ingredient uh, my essential uh, tools that I must have in my kitchen uh, do let me know what you guys uh, must have in your kitchen or I would like to see a tiny little video of the little 
things that you have in your own houses don't forget to share comment like uh, the video i would really appreciate some likes and you know i would really love to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching me thank you for all the new subscribers that i have and all the old subscribers i really really appreciate it thank you for taking time to watch my videos and comment and like as well so don't forget to follow me on instagram dine with jane or uh, facebook dine with jane on my uh, i have a website as well www.kenyanstyle.com you'll find me there i don't update much but i do post a little bit of things there too so yeah thank you so much for